Hi, this is Prakash and I make video on smart home tech and new gadgets for typical home user needs. Today we are talking about KVM over Ethernet. This is probably one of the cheapest way to get a connection from any mini PC or laptop you have put in lying around in a basement and connect to your TV or you know another computer to do some testing or something. We are not talking about KVM over USB or KVM over IP. We are talking about KVM over CAT6 cable, so Ethernet cable. Let's unbox. Pretty simple packaging, nothing special. Uh, so this is receiver, this is transmitter and a small cable. One side is a network cable on both. It's aluminium shell, not plastic one. Here, yeah, the other side you can see HDMI port as well as the USB port to connect. Feels very light, yet uh, seems like a good product. So let's take a look how it works and how you can connect and get the setup up and running. And what are the limitations for this particular setup? By the way, links are there in the description, and this is not an affiliate links. But if you like this type of content, please subscribe. As you can see, this is transceiver. HDMI cable goes into your source. In this case, we'll be using a laptop to test it out. We want laptop uh, screen input to show up in our uh, Elgato screen capture. And then we'll be connecting a USB into the laptop. So this will provide us the capability to, for, to connect a keyboard or mouse. This is the receiver. And as you can see, receiver exactly same setup, an HDMI connection and USB. Now this USB is connected to a keyboard right now and you can change it to a mouse, just that you can connect both of them at any point of time. I use it for mostly Proxmox or Ubuntu, so that works perfectly okay. So this is how our test setup look. Uh, here we have the transceiver, here is our receiver connected through CAT6 cable and now HDMI is going into the laptop and another USB cable is plugged in. The same thing is here. You can see same way one is going into El Cato, which should show up in that uh, on the top right you're seeing no signal. That's where it should show up once we start it up. And USB cable is plugged to this keyboard. And we can see the moment Lenovo came up, we can see the screen start showing up. So via CAT6 cable, we're able to transfer the screen. So, so another feature we want to check is that uh, video is coming up nicely as a capture. How about the audio? So I'm gonna play the video here and let's see. Hi, this is Prakash and I make video on a smart home tech and new gadgets useful for your home needs. Now let's take a look at how the keyboard connection works. Right now keyboard is connected to the receiver end and from this keyboard now I'll be using keyboard and you can see I can control the keyboard. I can do search, click on home tab and others. So here is the product page and this is USB extended KVM as we looked into it. So there are uh, two different products are there. One is no KVM functionality. So this one is 15 bucks and if you're buying with the one which we just reviewed with KVM, which means either uh, keyboard or mouse support, it's costing 21 bucks. There are more advanced models are available if you're looking for more range and all that. Uh, one of the things you want to consider if you're buying for a new range is that don't want to have a power connection or something right if you want to connect it to power that would be like extra energy cost and all that to be considered and in this case this is completely no cables no connection it's just transferring all the data through hdmi only. one thing to note is that if you are starting windows computer like my lenovo laptop until it came to the windows screen it doesn't uh, show up in the computer or well, when we are talking about uh, some another new computers like the one mini PC which is running Proxbox right now, that shows up as part of the boot up also. So that's something to be considered. I did test it over uh, connecting it to a plain down switch and see that if that can work via the switch so we can connect it to multiple receivers and all that. It did not work that way. So you, you have to connect a direct CAT6 cable 
from receiver to uh, transmitter to basically make it work. So there are some other new models are there or probably more costly models are available, which probably would be available, able to do that. Hope you get a good idea how this product work, where you can use it, what are the limitations. And in case you have any open questions, feel free to put it in the comment. This is not an affiliate product review. I paid from my own pocket. If this content was useful to you, please like it. And if you like to see video like this, please subscribe and share with your friends. Appreciate you watching.